Hey guys, yeah, so I just wanted to update with you guys with uh, Reapers. Uh, literally, that just happened. And uh, yeah, C section was quite expensive, even though it was office hours. You know, obviously, I opt out to uh, mark everything um, IV fluids. I even did uh, the K laser therapy thingy. I think I think that's what it's called. So it's pretty much like like uh, like laser on the on Reapers uh, incision. And dude, really, really clean cut. Let me let me move you real quick, little girl. And uh, yeah, really clean, no stitches, bro. You know, K laser uh, treatment. I love that stuff. That's real, some real good stuff. You know, it's twenty five bucks, so you, so you know why not? So you don't have to deal with stitches and stuff like that. So yeah, uh, new technology. I always do that now. You know, I always think about like, eh, is it worth it? Twenty five, guys. If you guys have the option to do that, that laser for the uh for the incision please do it you know it's worth it it's not as bloody it doesn't get all nasty inside the inside the uh incision or inside the nipples because you know it gets all like moisty and nasty and wet so um yeah so i just wanted to say yo guys got me a black try female which is what i always wanted um i, I did have one before but as you guys can see uh black try ready you guys you know this is the um you can count this as the first day officially, or maybe second day, a day and a half since these guys have been born. I think, I think it's, no, it hasn't even been a full day yet. Um, it's only been like 16 hours. Um, so yeah, dude, look at these, look at these tri markings already. So usually like to know if, uh, if your puppy's got really, like really strong tri markings is if it shows up already. You know, since she was born already, these are try markings already show up, and there's more. More is gonna already like come out. Cause sometimes when you have a black try, black and tan, or like a tri colored dog, it could be blue try, chocolate try, it doesn't matter. Um, whatever color they have on top, sometimes like their try doesn't show up till later on. Like because I, um, my my un my uncle, he's got tries too, right? As I showed you guys with the litters that he did, he's had. He's uh he explains it like, you know, that's a really strong try because you know, my puppies their tries don't show up until later on. So you guys didn't know, like cause his puppies are already at this age, like dude, his colors, their colors don't even come in till like they're literally like two weeks or three weeks or four weeks ahead. And uh, they'll start showing up, but this one already, you know, it's already like not even within 24 hours already, and its try markings have already showed up because really, as puppies, it's just like if it's a black try, it's just all black. No brown has come in yet. No tan has come in yet. So, pretty crazy stuff. So tells you that you know not all try are equal. You know, they are strong tries and weak tries as well, and. I never believed it. I thought if hey, if it's just a try, it's just a try, bro. You know, it's so pretty crazy stuff, man. I I never knew that. Um, you guys can come down to section below and discuss that with me if you guys had that experience as well. Um, but you know, let, let me know in the comments, you know, in the sections down below. Like, is there like theories on that, or is is it like a known cause? Like, is there strong tries or weak tries? Like because you know with the breedings that my uncle has right his puppies just the mom is a is a tri carrier too you know just tri carrier reaper's not tri reaper is a red fawn you know and i i never thought that you carry tri and um you know roaches a tri and then you put them together you put a carrier as as long as both parents carry the gene you can get the color that you want i can even get blue try as well i don't know if reaper carries blue i i don't do dna like color genetics is i you know for breeding for me i i don't care <laughs> i don't care about that stuff you guys um you know colors doesn't matter to me it's just the cherry on top but you know what matters to me you know when i do breeding it's just, it's always about structure you know i i've always had that you know, mentality, um, it's that structure and pedigree and temperament matters the most to me. And then, yeah, if, if the color comes, hey, great, you know, amazing. So hopefully I don't hold these in a weird way. Ew, my hands are nasty, but yeah, it's, um, uh, hopefully you guys can understand where I'm coming from. So, and, uh, yeah, I, I also, I knew Reaper Carey tried too, because her last litter, we had a tri puppy, uh, just one female. One female and the other puppy was a water baby. 
and uh yeah it's it sucks man um another water baby for some damn reason another water baby and that sucks man um i i don't know why that happens i i think i should give reaper some folic acid um i didn't give her folic acid this time um i listened to my dad he's like nah you shouldn't give him folic acid so i listened to him this time um but i don't know if it would have made a difference you know if it's a placebo effect or folic acid is it really actually a really good thing i tried folic acid before with reaper's last litter still had that same problem with our baby um so yeah so i've only got three healthy puppies and yeah that's 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 pretty much it so the last litter that i had you know that one tri female she she died um at that at 10 days man at 10 days and she, she's like healthy strong just literally like this you know can suck really good uh suckling was really good feeding feeding and really fat and gaining weight at a significant like significant weight every day and um i don't know man it's just um like she i think she caught something you know she was having an eye problem like an eye infection you know like the puss her eye was getting like swollen and I don't like, you know, the, the vet just told me, you know, just give her some antibiotics and then just wipe her eye, uh, wipe her eye slowly with the warm, like moist cloth and then take the puss out of the eye. And then she was good. She was good. Her eye was getting better. But then noticing on the ninth day, like she wasn't gaining weight no more. And she started pooping blood. Like, like you start smelling that silver blood and I knew something was wrong. I'm like... Cause I was like, oh fuck, I knew something's wrong. And then I, she was up all night on the ninth day and then crying, you know, the like really weak cry. And then I just, you know, and she can't suckle no more. So, you know, do what I always do, IV fluids and two feeding and all that good stuff. And yeah, it just, it just didn't work out. You know, 10th day, she just passed away, you know, and it sucks, man. Cause during that time, I, guys, I, I didn't want to vlog too. Cause it was, it was trash, man, because I was like, fuck, man, you know, I made all these videos just for nothing, you know, and ends up that the puppies died, you know, and I think, I think she caught something. I think she really did caught something when I took it to bed, because after that, that visit, I think she caught something. So I'm not really sure what happened. Um, it could have been Reaper's milk. I don't know. You just, you just don't know, you know, fading puppy syndrome can just happen anywhere. And then, you know, not all puppies are meant to survive. And you know, it sucks, man. It, it really was trash. So now um, it's my job to, to to take care of these guys. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys learned something from that uh, with my storytelling and uh, real storytelling from my experiences. And uh, yeah, my first try. Again, hopefully um, she grows to be good. Uh, hopefully all these puppies are strong and healthy and they grow. And uh, yeah, I will start accepting lock-ins later on. Maybe I will accept one lock in i think that's pretty much it that i'm gonna be accepting you know since i have three i'm probably gonna accept one maybe one i don't know if i want to sell the male or female so i don't know we will see so i don't really know what to do um right now my job is just to take care of these puppies and uh, yeah guys it is my birthday so uh come down you guys can happy birthday doesn't matter i don't care you guys can donate to me if you guys want <laughs> i'm just kidding i don't even have a donation because you know i do this for free you guys i always give you guys content i just want to give you guys valuable content just for free i don't care you know it just this thing for me is not about money or you know doing that all you know, guys i just want to give you guys value and you know and just show you guys like hey you know just learn from my mistakes man that's that's pretty much it love you guys that's it love you peace